I think it's pretty obvious no one wants tough turkey. And sometimes when you roast a whole bird, the truth is some of the meat gets overcooked. True. Oh, but not today, not today. Because Cameron is gonna show us a new way to cook turkey for the holiday that always comes out tender and juicy and delicious. It does. I only wish you all could smell what it smells like in here because it it's smells fantastic. like Thanksgiving in here. Let me really say this good. also, Deb. It's really cool for me to be in the kitchen having you sit there, oh. allow me to show you some things that I love to do and, and everybody at home. I'm sure you know most of this, but it's fun for me to show you anyway. And I'm very excited to sit here and eat while you do this. We're braising turkey today. We're going to braise <laughs> it because the low and slow method is going to keep it tender and it's just going to like pack it with layers of flavor. Guys, you guys are going to love this so, so mm. much as Debbie is loving wow, it right now. I already right love now. it. And I know it starts with the brown turkey legs, it right? It does. You got to brown them first. That's the crisp. That's the little crunch on that skin that's so important. So you just use a pan. Uh, I like to use a high heat oil like avocado oil. Use whatever one you want. And believe it or not, one of the things that I do that kind of messes this up a little bit, I kind of crank it up a little too high. This is, takes a little bit longer than most people think. Okay. Medium high heat, maybe five to eight minutes to brown. What you, you don't want is kind of to get it sort of like blackened spots on the turkey. You want it nice, even brown, just like we've got here. You see these? Look how beautiful that looks. Beautiful. Nice crunch on the outside. Uh, and then we're gonna start to build in the same pan. So now what I've done in the pan is I've taken them out, Deb. Okay. And now I'm building with these beautiful, beautiful flavors in here. We've mirepoix, got- Mirepoix. Mirepoix. But a mirepoix kind of like next level. Oh, okay. Some fennel, look, listen to me, huh? <laughs> fennel, some parsnips, some celery, some onions. Again, same pan, because mm. you're getting that richness from the turkey that was already kind of seared in there. And also the fond. And the fond, it's gonna be beautiful. About five to eight minutes, you want that to come get nice and tender and softened, right? You smell that? Gosh, and it, it also flavors the turkey. It really does. So we're gonna put the turkey back in here in a second. So once that comes together nicely and a soft and tender, we're gonna put some garlic in there as well. Add the garlic in there. Nice. Are you gonna make this for Vanessa on Thanksgiving? I think you should. I think I should. I think she'd be very impressed. She would be very impressed. She probably is the one that taught it to me, but anyway. <laughs> So I got some uh, parsley in there and some fresh sage as well. And now what I'm gonna do, a little bit more sage maybe, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pair it with some, some white wine because the white wine and the fennel kind of go really nicely together. Does it matter what kind of white wine? Uh, you know what, I mean, I always hear you say, use the white wine that you end up drinking. That you don't wanna go drink, super yeah. cheap, right? But I, uh, in our house, we only have pretty decent white wine. You know what I mean? Yeah, so Vanessa, exactly, Vanessa good. Vanessa wine. And the idea is, is that you want to bring that up to a boil. So the white wine okay. goes in there, everybody, and then you bring it up to a boil, let that simmer for a while, and reduce it to about half. Now, once, once that happens, so we're not going to do that right now. So once it's sort of reduced to about half, that's when you add the turkey back in. Beautiful. Okay, back in the and same pan. And the white pan. wine really burns off. It's just that flavor. Yeah, the alcohol will burn yeah. off. Yeah, exactly right. But it you, can't, good, you though, cannot recreate that flavor, I promise you, with anything. There's a specific flavor that that white wine will give it. Look how beautiful that looks. That really now you is see how I've also got the skin. I've left it on top. I'll show you why here in a second. So now I'm gonna add some broth, right? Whatever kind of broth you'd like. Obviously uh, chicken broth or vegetable stock is fine. A little bone broth would be good too. Uh, and you wanna add the broth to the point where it comes up halfway up the turkey leg, leaving the skin exposed so, so you get a little crunchy. bit of an extra crunch, nice. right? Because if you sort of like uh, cover the, the skin, it gets too soft and mushy. That and then you can lose that little crunch on, um, on the bed. And then obviously this is gonna in go the in the oven. For how long, Cam? And what temperature? Okay, 225, 275, excuse me, 275 okay. for about two hours, low and slow, everybody. Low and slow, that Put is Put that the in key. there. Gosh, it is really fantastic. Isn't it? It is so good. Never have dry turkey again, Deb. Now, I have made turkey many ways, never this way. These are really great tips, Cam. Let's see how I do this with the door in the butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done. What I'm talking about. Okay, look at that. Doesn't that look good, everybody? <gasps> Smells Doesn't amazing. Now, good. we're not good. done yet. Now, what about those veggies? Exactly right, I knew. Because I am eating something that appears to be mashed potatoes, but my taste buds tell me it's something else. Listen, mashed potatoes are amazing, and people love mashed potatoes. I do, too, but, you know, if you're trying to... I don't know, utilize, first of all, you're gonna utilize these great veggies in the pan, right? And then second of all, it's gonna keep it low carb. If you're trying to cut back on carbs, which a lot of people are doing these days, this is a great substitute for mashed potatoes. So use, wow. scoop these into a blender. You're gonna add some really yummy uh, butter. I like to use grass-fed butter just because it's got a little bit more vitamins and minerals in there, better uh, omega-3 to omega-6 ratio of fats as well, but use whatever you want to do. And can I just say, in my opinion, this tastes a lot better than mashed potatoes. 
Really? It's fantastic. You're gonna, you will be impressed with yourself. That is huge. That is it a is big so statement. good. Okay, there we go. Mix it up in there. Look at this. Oh, it's going. It's going. It has there the we go. Yes. Wow, it's so good. Beautiful. So a little bit something like that. Mm. Oh, and now you're gonna. Plate. I'm gonna plate it you're too. You're gonna plate it for it yeah. for us. What about the gravy? Because the gravy is also really flavorful. How yeah, did you the make gravy that? Gravy goes on top too. I. Uh, I gotta tell you, Vanessa's a little bit more of the uh, the gravy kind of specialist on there. I'm having two pieces. <laughs> a little bit of gravy on there. What do you think, Deb? Oh, I could use a little more gravy too. And a little bit of parsley on top. Gosh, Cameron. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, get in there. You're and gonna... by the way, so I've got this great, I mean, this is a great way to get your turkey nice and tender and super flavorful. Tomorrow on the show, I'm gonna show you how you can DIY, you can make your own cutting board to carve that turkey on Thanksgiving. There's some great little surprises about it I want to tease, so you gotta come, come back to, uh, to find out what they are. It's like a one-stop holiday shop here. Oh, man. Am I wrong? This is so look good, Look at that. Dad. And look at how in. crispy the skin still is. Oh, it's, it's delicious. crispy skin, I got my, mm, Your mashed veggies. Your parsnip, it's fantastic, right? Slam dunk. I outdid myself. I don't you even really know what that did. means exactly, but it's so <laughs> delicious. You guys are gonna love this. Try it out. If you would all love this amazing recipe, trust me, you want it. Make sure to go to HallmarkChannel.com. Mm.